Hello ladies! In this video, I want to share a little bit about me. Before I go forward with anything fashion related, I have to share more about myself because I've been getting a lot of questions. Why am I modest? Why am I a modest fashion blogger? Why do I keep to the standards that I do? What is the reason behind it? I want to let you know why I do what I do. And... Uh, this is the first time I'm doing something like this. I've been blogging for over five years now and I haven't shared really myself. Like I feel when I put a picture up, there's so much more to me that I don't share because I felt it was more personal, I didn't want to, but I feel it's getting to a point now where if I do share more of myself, more people can go ahead and relate to it. I just want to touch on everything first. So the first thing I want to talk about is, again, when it comes to, I have certain standards that I live by and that relates to my modesty. It plays into dating, it plays into, um, my Jewish identity and for who I stand for. Everything I do is with me being a Jewish girl that comes forefront before I do anything. So since I was 18, I am now 30. I have the same beliefs. It has not changed. My beliefs haven't changed. So of course, you know, me personally, I have grown a lot, grown a lot creatively, grown a lot um, career-wise. But when it came to my beliefs, that is something that I did not change. I am very open-minded, so I have my way of thinking, but I can go ahead and talk to somebody who has a different way of thinking, and it's not going to affect me, or I'm not going to look down on that person because of that. That is never the case. I think that's just naive, that's very close-minded. That's not the case. So let's get into some of the nitty-gritty, shall we? So, first thing I want to discuss is my blog. So I am a modest fashion blogger. I do cover everything over the elbows, knees, collarbone, and people ask me, why do you do that? And there is a legitimate question to ask. Why am I doing this when there's tons of other bloggers out there um, doing what they want? When it comes to dressing, why do you stick to these rules? You know, we are out of school. Um, I feel also that many people, it's after high school, they do what they want because you have a choice to live the life that you want without anyone on top of you. It's your choice. But I feel it's one of my personality. I can be very stubborn and very feisty. When it comes to my beliefs, I am stubborn very much in that way, not buckling the peer pressure, but doing it in a good way. Meaning, doing it in a good way. So when I used to, I am a graphic designer. When I started looking for a job, I did want something in the secular world because they're very creative. Um, they were very, they're very creative firms. There were so many people who were talented and I think starting off, I was a little bit naive on how I presented and how I dealt with a situation because if I go ahead and had a good interview at the end or in the beginning, even in the beginning, many people would shake, go out to shake my hand and I would just be like, oh no, I, I, don't, um, I don't do this. It's not my, for religious reasons, I don't do it. I probably didn't do it in the best way, but years later, I really know how to present myself and how to approach those situations. So yes, when it comes to career-wise, I started my fashion blog because I felt um, years ago when I was growing up, I am a triplet, I am the oldest, and there was never, when I, all my friends had older sisters, they knew how to dress, and everything was kept secret. I used to ask them, like, oh, help me with my hair, makeup, what do you do? Years later from that experience, I have learned a lot, so my goal was always to somehow share, have a platform to share everything. I pass by a deal that's going on, or I do a DIY that's exciting. It's something I wanted to share. I knew I needed a platform to share with anyone in the world that is a public platform. I knew I wanted to do that. So when I was in college deciding what to do, I really wanted to do. I really wanted to go into fashion, and I just knew that looking at a five-year plan. If I was to go to fashion school and try to look for something in the fashion world, it is a very, it's a very cutthroat industry. I looked at it logically. If I'm going in, if I'm going in to dress as I am, going into these interviews and even working there was not going to work with my lifestyle because there is very much emphasis and going to these parties, being very social on the weekends. Also on Shabbos, I don't want to feel that. I don't want to feel that my religion is being a burden on anyone. But that is who I am, being Jewish. So I wanted to work in a in a place where it's safe, where they accept me for who I am, and I can be myself. So I decided to be a graphic designer so I could be creative somehow, and I went to Turo while I was 
working. So again, I can work and pay my way through college and then also be independent. And um, since then, I've worked in many Jewish companies. Um, and year after year, I was not challenged creatively. Just people don't care about design. I love simple designs. And many Jewish companies, they don't like simple. They like everything busy, 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 like no white space. That's how I design, very simplistic, very to the point. And many, many of these companies don't think that way. They're not open-minded to think that way, that being minimalistic is so beautiful. I think it's such a good thing. You can pay attention to design, but it's not something that they like. I feel like I was always hitting a wall, not getting to where I want to be. Over five years ago is when I started my fashion blog. I, I know... I know personally when I look for modest, when I look for fashion inspiration, there is no modest fashion blogger out there. It's actually like covering your elbows, knees. So I decided I want to go ahead and start that. In my community, it was very unheard of. I was being judged for even doing it. Why would I do it? I'd have, I had have to have such a stubbornness and like a will and like back myself up on why I wanted to do it because many people were pushing it aside. My only support was like a very good friend of mine and of course my, my sister's. They were really supportive of, okay, this is something you want to do, you're good at it, do it. And because of them, I was able to push myself, but there, was a there were times I just wanted to quit because when I do the blog, if you see, I pay attention to my photography, I learned photography on the side too, to go ahead and really blog the professional way to do it right. And I started doing that a few years ago and I was able to be, I was able to be satisfied creatively. With my blog, inspiring people all over the world. In the future, I wanted to create a clothing line because that is something that I suffered with growing up. I did not find any dresses. And again, my style is like very fit and flare dresses. Um, otherwise, I love jean skirts, playing it up in different ways, wearing it with suit jackets. That's very much my style. And I can never find dresses that fit me. I am curvier and I am proud of it. So I want to create modest, flirty pieces because I... I'm still suffering from that. I'm a fashion blogger and I go ahead and post so many separates, some dresses that I do find just very rare and I feel like I can't believe it's this day and age and I still can't find modest dresses. Again, I'm 5'6". I can't find anything that covers my knees. Many people can't afford designer dresses. Great for them. I just can't... I just can't find dresses of my budget points. And many people just get dresses and it's above the knee and they're fine with it. I'm just not okay with it. I'm not gonna go ahead and start wearing something else because that's the only thing that is out right now. That doesn't reflect why I wear what I wear. <laughs> so why do I dress modestly? Why is it still important to me? I'm just gonna say a very point blank. I'm not gonna get into it because it's a little too heavy of a subject. If people, I think people want to hear what they want to hear. So whatever I say, if you were never open to it or hearing it, you're not gonna want to hear it either way. It's just very simple. I dress modestly because I am a Jew, that's my identity. And as a woman, when it comes to my body, it is something that's precious, something that I want to cover. And it is for my future husband. I put my personality forefront before my body. If I'm going into a meeting, if I'm going into work, if I'm going into a date, again, me dressing appropriately. If I buy a wedding, I'm wearing a very nice dress that that brings out my beauty. I want people to see me for who I am, not my body. When it comes to my body, it's it's my business and it's my future husband's business. <laughs> yes, there's such a thing as privacy and it's not putting it out in public. And many people are so into like, this day and age, everyone is about showing their bodies and like there's pressure because there's peer pressure because you don't show your body. The body is beautiful. <laughs> I have no doubt about that. I am at a place where I don't have to prove it to anybody. So I'm gonna go ahead and cover that because it is something, again, for my husband. Not for anyone else, sorry. It's private. I think how I see modesty, and people ask me, so why specifically do you care about covering your elbows and knees? And again, that's just a line in the sand for me. I start uncovering my elbows, knees. I feel like in two years, I'm gonna get used to it, and I'll think it'd be okay to make it higher, higher, higher. Before I know it, I'm gonna be so insensitive to it. So I think that's what it is. It's the fact that I am sensitive to my body and not insensitive. I think it gets to a point where people left and right these days don't care about that. Their body is who they are. They want to share it to the world. I don't want to share it to the world. It's private and it's my business again. That's what it is. For anyone who's modest, I think you should be proud of that. You're holding something private. I want a guy to know me from my personality. I just wake up every day and I'm like, why isn't there any modest fashion bloggers on YouTube? 
And of course, it comes with, no, we can't do it. People, people will judge us for doing that. A modest girl shouldn't be on YouTube, but I want to use it for good. So I had this idea in my head and I want to make it a reality, so that's what I did. I run after something that I feel passionate about. Um, again, with my line, with my line, I want to share that I am in process of working on it. It took over two years. It's a whole story, but I have been through a lot of factories that were that were a miss for me. It didn't work out. They didn't care about the materials that were being used, and that's very important. Number one, that my dresses have very good silhouette. It fits well. Number two, the materials are really good. So I am refocusing on my line. And I did send out samples. I put my journey on Insta Stories in the menu section on my profile on Instagram to keep you guys updated. I want to be very transparent with my brand when it does come out. And you can see my journey that nothing happens overnight. It did take me a process. It already took over two years. And I could be really scared by now and not do it. But I think every mistake you learn something. And again, take that into consideration with whatever you are challenged with too. That if you do make a mistake, don't focus on the mistake, learn from it so you can go on to the next thing. And when some, another mistake happens, learn from it and go on to the next. So please don't let that turn you away from doing what you want to do. And again, you can do anything with small steps. I think if you stand up for what you believe in and you do it the right way, you can still be yourself. And that very much with that kind of stubbornness and that belief in why I do what I do, really relates to all parts of my life and I want to continue being me not change for other people and be comfortable, be more comfortable as the years pass be comfortable in my own skin and what I believe in every person decides what they want to do and how they want to live their life so to be pressured by people telling you oh you should do this I think it's crazy why is it that we go ahead and change because someone else told us it's our life to live so I want to end up by that, just letting you guys know, be proud of it. If you stand out for what you believe in, you're going to stand out from everyone else who just follows the crowd. Stand out, be yourself, and uh, yeah, see you in my next video. Bye.